So today we're going to show you how to do a bob hairstyle with side bangs. Our model actually used to have straightforward bangs, but it's growing them out. So today we are going to style them over to the side. And a really beautiful way to do that would be to add a little bit of curl or wave to the hair so it's a little bit more interesting. One of my favorite things to do with a side bang is to take the other side and make it really flat so you really emphasize this larger shape on this one side. So she has kind of damp hair right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sections of the bang. I'm going to start in the front. And I'm going to blow dry them with a round brush. And I'm going to move the hair backwards. So traditionally, I think with a round brush, we tend to make everything go toward our face. We're going to make everything go away from the face. And a good tip is, however you have to do this is fine. If you have to do just like I just did, you know, and wrap your damp hair up in it with two hands and then take the blow dryer and blast it, that's okay too. The tricky part to remember is you want to keep everything at a lower angle. And what this is going to do is it's going to give it a slight little kick to the side. It's not going to give it a big flip, but it's just going to give it some movement on top. And what it'll do usually with the side bangs, it'll give the illusion that you have this almost layer over the top so you'll get to see these a separation of the bang in the side. So just a really cute little different way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start blowing dry. I'm going to start at the front and I'm going to move my way back. I'm going to roll it back and away from the head keeping the angle pretty low. I'm then going to let the hair cool in the brush. So I'm going to pause after I do it and then move on to the next section. Something really important with this style, and I think whenever you're using a blow dryer, is to use your nozzle. This is the number one thing that gets thrown away. It's because we don't know how to use it. What it does is it concentrates the air flow. So if I have it off, the air is moving the hair around. If I have this on, then the air is moving the hair. So it, it just concentrates it. So if you want to add a little bit more polish or have more control over your blow dry, use your concentrator or your nozzle. It's not going to slow you down. It takes exactly the same amount of time to do it, so don't be worried about that. 